Okay guys, so this is the smart strings and we're gonna dive in, try to get as much detail as we can in this video. So let's take a look. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna see are all these wood blocks. Now if you tap each one, you're gonna hear what sounds like staccato chords. So you can see up here we have all the different chord names in our scale, which right now is C major. So if you tap, you hear the staccato strings. Also, if you go up, it'll go higher octaves. So as long as you're on the same one, it's gonna stay the same chord and the lines across are separating the different octaves. But if you, if you go like this with your finger, you slide it up and down, it sounds like it has a bow on it. The faster you go, the louder it gets. I like the dynamics that they give you. It's a lot of fun. Now, if that was all it had, that would be pretty much good enough, but there's so much more. So if you go up to this little button up here, it looks like a guitar amp uh, knob. Touch that. Now, this is where all of the different adjustments are made. So right now, you can hear um, what we just heard before. Now, let's say you don't want the really high things, so you can take those out by just selecting them like that. Now you don't hear them. Or you can go in the opposite. Maybe you just want the high ones and you don't want the low ones. Then you can go back. Okay, so maybe you want those back though. So now you got them back. Okay, now let's go back to that screen. Now, the next feature is really nice. This is called autoplay. So now each of the instruments, so you have, this is all the string section, but you have different versions. You have these four different ones. For each one of these, you're gonna have different autoplays. So let's listen to a couple of them. So you just tap here or you can get rid of it completely. You could just touch them right here, or you can go back. So let's listen to a different one. That is really, really cool, I think. And one more. Okay, so you get the idea. Now, you get, like I said, you can go and you can click on a different string section. Maybe you want pop or, um, I forget the other ones. Anyways, but so you can go through and you can find different ones. Now, just like on the key, the original keyboard, you can play all the individual strings or all the individual keys. Maybe you want to do that with the string section. So the way you do that is you go to the section that says, this section right here, it says chords and notes. If you hit that button, notes, now you switch out. So you pick which instrument you want to play. Maybe you just want to play the cello. So just select the, oh, now it's selected. So now you're going to hit this button again to go back to your cello. Now, I never started playing stringed instruments like this because I don't work well without having frets. But if that's what you want to do here, you can. So you, that sounds horrible. So what you can do is you can add a scale just like you can with the other instruments. So now it's a major scale. So, 
you, you get the idea. You can have a lot of fun with that. And well, you could do Mixolydian. So this instrument just has so much, so many things that you can use here. Let's turn off that scale. And let's go back to up here. Let's go back to chords. You know, this is just a lot of fun. There's so much flexibility here. The sh smart strings is by far one of my favorite instruments on GarageBand for the iPhone. So thanks for watching, guys. And uh, give it a thumbs up if this helped you out. And uh, check out some of my other GarageBand videos. Thanks, guys. Hey, thanks for watching my video, and if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe by hitting that button right there. Also, check out some of these other videos. Also, you can find me on these popular social networking sites.